Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday, October 29th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for Brian Peters, who is on vacation this week. He'll return next Sunday. That means I get the keys to the car one more time next Saturday. Of course, James Spann will be back with your Weather Extreme videos Monday through Friday this week with his usual two-a-days. Let's look at 5 a.m. temperatures across central Alabama, or across all of Alabama. We've got uh, 30s and 40s across the entire area. You can see that blanket of clouds left over from yesterday's storm system. That served to keep temperatures a little warmer than we uh, would have otherwise had overnight last night if we had had clear skies. And um, you can see just outside that area, temperatures a couple of degrees colder, 36 in Tuscaloosa, 35 in Demopolis, Birmingham temperatures remaining in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. And of course, that combined with the winds, if you looked at the winds that stayed up overnight, these are average winds around 10 miles an hour across much of the area. Uh, keeping conditions from becoming favorable for fog. So the frost advisories were dropped overnight and have been replaced with new frost advisories for tonight because tonight this is what readings will look like and skies will be clear, uh, winds will be calm, and that produces optimal conditions for the development of frost. As you can see, lows across the area generally uh, upper 30s over southwest, west central Alabama. The coldest air shifting into east central and uh, northeast Alabama, where you'll see temperatures near freezing, but uh, widespread frost is expected tonight across all, most all of Alabama, and that means you should protect tender vegetation as we head into the evening hours tonight. Now, trough of low pressure in the upper atmosphere, 300 millibars, about 30,000 feet. Uh, that's been delivering all of that cold air into Alabama. You can see that's beginning to rotate on off into the northeast as we head through the day today and into tonight. And our flow over Alabama is replaced with a zonal flow that goes west to east. And of course, that shutting off of the faucet of cold air means that temperatures will begin to moderate. You can see how that transpires through the week. We'll be in the 30s tonight. Then we'll be in the 40s for morning lows uh, for a couple of days before heading back into the 50s to near 60 as we move through the week. High temperatures today will struggle to get out of the uh, 50s, uh, really very deep into the 50s over um, all of central Alabama. Northeast Alabama locations may have a hard time getting out of the 40s again today, despite near total sunshine once this low uh, fog and stratus deck, uh, or really stratus deck, lifts out of Alabama. Now we'll bounce back into the 60s tomorrow and Tuesday. We'll be back in the 70s by Wednesday through Friday. We'll even be flirting with 80 degrees as we head toward the weekend. Now, in that zonal flow, uh, if you notice it was a disturbance out in New Mexico by Tuesday that will be swinging our way in that zonal flow, and it'll bring a chance of showers to Alabama either late Wednesday or sometime Thursday. You can see it reflected in the GFS precipitation uh, information here uh, probably coming Thursday. Uh, just very light amounts, hardly even measurable uh, Thursday and Friday with a better shot for rain coming in, it looks like, late Friday into Saturday. And that looks like what we may deal with. But again, only uh, you know less than a half inch of rain expected on the GFS uh, mediagram here for Birmingham. We'll uh, go through the maps and look at that. Here's the GFS forecast for Wednesday evening. Oh, and I, I forgot to mention the trick-or-treat forecast look really good. Uh, across central Alabama, temperatures in the 50s and dry and uh, calm conditions. So if you are uh, if you got kids that are heading out to trick-or-treat on Tuesday, you should be just fine. Here's uh, Wednesday night, 7 p.m., the uh, GFS model output shows a uh, strong high-pressure ridging along the east coast, southerly flow beginning to develop into the Arklatex, uh, really the Arklamis, and uh, areas west of Alabama beginning to get showers showing up. Some of those could encroach into Alabama uh, during Thursday. You can see here's Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Those showers now encroaching into West Alabama, but you can see they're generally light. And as we head into Friday evening, uh, a much better concentration of showers and thunderstorms, some thunderstorms to our west. That activity will begin to push into Alabama uh, during the overnight hours, Friday night into Saturday. And by the time we get to 7 p.m. on Saturday night, you can see the uh, axis of those showers 
pushing off to the east. That's good news for football fans heading to Tuscaloosa uh, because I think the rain will be diminishing by the time uh, the Alabama-LSU game kicks off. And uh, great news for our uh, friends heading out to Texas for uh, Auburn and Texas A&M uh, late Saturday morning. That uh, situation should be dry. Let's turn our eyes to Tropical Storm Philippe. Uh, now centered over Florida Bay, north of the Florida Keys, moving into inland South Florida. Top winds now 45 miles an hour on the 4 a.m. advisory, already beginning to move to the east-northeast very quickly, uh, averaging some 17 miles an hour now. It will continue to accelerate through the day today, and um, by you know late tonight it's going to be east of Cape Hatteras. Uh, the main effect of Philippe will be to lend its moisture to a developing low over eastern North Carolina. That low is going to sweep up the east coast very rapidly tonight and tomorrow, uh, making landfall near New York City is about a 980 millibar low. Uh, but it's going to suck in the moisture and energy from Philippe, and that will help to power that system. Uh, sort of a perfect storm. It's almost, I think we're the 25th anniversary of the perfect storm, uh, either yesterday or today, and um, not anything like that, fortunately. This is going to be moving really quickly. But lots of high wind warnings and flash flood watches for New England in anticipation of this system. Well, that's your Weather Extreme video for your Sunday. I'll be back next Saturday with another edition of the video and then turn the keys back over to Brian. Sort of like turning in the rental car. Uh, it's been fun being with you this week. Of course, James will be in. He's America's favorite meteorologist, and he'll be with you all week with his normal two-a-days. And until next Saturday, keep your eyes on the sky. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler, and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.